Data files can be prepared in the Microsoft Excel program and then imported to the SPSS for analysis. If you intend to use this option, you should have at least a basic understanding of Excel, um, as this will not be covered here. First of all, you have to set up a variable names. Set up an Excel spreadsheet with the variable names in the first row across the page. The variable names must conform to the SPSS rules for naming variables. Enter the information for the first case on one line across the page using the appropriate columns for each variable. Repeat for each of the remaining cases. Don't use any formula or other Excel functions. Click on File, Save, and the section marked Save as Type, make sure Microsoft Excel Workbook is selected. Type in an appropriate file name. After you have entered the data, save your file and then close Excel. Start SPSS and select File, Open, Data. In the section labeled Files of Type, choose Excel. Excel files have a XLS uh, or XLSX extension. Find the file that contains your data Click on it so that it appears in the Find Name section. Click on Open button. A screen will appear labeled Opening Excel Data Source. Make sure that it's a tick in a box Rare Variable Names from the first row of data. Click on OK. The data will appear on the screen with the variable names listed across the top. You will then need to have this new SPSS file Choose File, then Save As. Type in suitable file name. Make sure that the Save As type is set at spssstatistics.sev file. Then click on Save. In the Data Editor Variable View, you will now need to define each of the labels, values, major informations in the same way as we illustrated before. You may also want to reduce the width of the column as they often come in from Excel with a width of 11. When you wish to open this file later to analyze your data using SPSS, make sure to choose file that has .sav extension, not your original Excel file that has .xls extension.